Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and the last episode of Blasted Oasis. So we are taking on the final horde tonight. Day 76, I told you it would be a weird day probably, and it is, and that's fine. I mean, we took on a few buildings, I got the base up and running, um, like painted and everything, and built the way I wanted it. So if the zombies destroy it, they destroy it, and there's nothing I can do about it. So, I've got a couple things set up um, from between the last episode and this one. I'm just quickly checking the outside. Because we do get interlopers every once in a while that show up here. And as soon as they hear me, they immediately come here, which is always a great sign, right? When they come right to these, uh, this area of the base, rather than trying to beat through the walls. So we got the dart traps set up. I wasn't able to get two of them set up, but we got these ones set up. Didn't protect all the sides of them. I just want just enough, you know. They're not gonna, they won't bust these down. But they're almost completely full of ammo and they're gonna be shooting the legs of the zombies along here. And the same as on this side over here. Shooting the legs of the zombies along here. I didn't put them right against the wall here. Uh, simply because I think a lot of them, they don't, like they don't come straight from the back. They come from that side or this side because they kind of go around this building and then hop down and go this way. So I don't think they're going to be running along the edge of the building. And if they do, well they do. Not much I can do about it. Alright, so I'm done down here. Everything is ready to go. So we get back inside. We've got three hours before the horde starts. So we're going to get in here and close this up. What I've done is I've hooked up... Um, let's see here. Go down here. So I've hooked up those dart traps to this switch. So when this goes on, the dart traps should start firing. Now, I didn't hear them fire, but I don't think I will from in here. At least I shouldn't. Actually, you know what I should probably do? Let's double test it here. Let's make sure they're shooting. They are not. Why are they not shooting? Oh, because the power's not on. Duh. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. At least it's me being a moron and uh, not everything, not that I don't have everything connected properly. Okay, so I have to hook them up to the battery bank, so let's just turn this on. I probably should go around and turn these lights off so we're not using up all of the power for the horde. I'll leave the trouble light on down here. I think I'll leave these lights on. Turn this one out. Turn this one out. Now I should hear it. Actually, we can turn the track lighting off here. Turn this track lighting off here. Draw a lot less power that way. Yep, they're working. Perfect. So once I flip that on, those dart traps are going to be firing. Okay, this one we can wait to turn on. This guy we can turn on now. Actually, let's just hold off. How much is it drawing? 72? Yeah, let's just hold off. So I know the turrets are working because I can hear them humming up there. Alright, so we got 10 Atom Junkies. Now these guys last for 5 minutes each, so it's 50 minutes of 50, plus 50% explosion and block damage. And the block damage for pipe bombs is very low, it's only 5. So it's going to do 7.5 block damage. Um, so it's not a big, do not a big deal. Um, I do have a variety of weaponry tonight. I actually got to go ahead and modify you. Let's pull this off. I'm having the 44 on me. It's just in case, you know? It's like, I don't think I'll need it, but everything is running AP ammo. So if for whatever reason I'm really low and a demo is gonna like go off or something, I can always just switch to another weapon. So let's put in, uh, well, I don't think it'll take full auto, would it? Will it? Let's find out. Sure will. Excellent. Okay, so that's an emergency backup weapon. So we're going to go shotgun first, M60 second, SMG, and then the Desert Vulture if we need it. So let's get you reloaded again. Alright, well, I'm feeling pretty confident. I don't think we're going to die on this one. Let's just make sure our ammo is maxed out here. So I've pretty much grabbed like, all of my ammo. So the, the, the day length is set to... Um, uh, oops, let's bring this up. We're set to um, uh, 12 hour days, 12 hour night. So it's going to be a 12 hour night. 
and let's hope we survive it. 64 zombies. We've got the double um, electrical fence. We're only going to leave one on to start. Second one here can come on when we need it. And this switch is for the backup here. If they break through, we can break, move back into here, flip these hatches up. If they get through that and then we're here, we're pretty much done for, I think. I don't think, if they, if they get through these hatches, we're done for. But we got lots of steel, so I'm not worried about them kind of getting through. It's only if a demo blows the wall up somehow. It's going to be really hard because there's two sets of steel blocks, right? And when the steel is gone, it goes to reinforced concrete. So they have to blow through two sets of steel here and here, plus up here for zombies to be able to get through, you know? So we'll see. We shall see. We're going to start off with the shotgun again tonight. Um, simply because it's been doing an awesome job for us. We've got the level 6 SMG as well. Which uh, we've got the full auto mod on it. Muzzle brake. Drum magazine. And rider remover. Now this this weapon only did a little bit more damage than our, our level 4 that we were using. But the ammo was actually lower too. It was like another... It was like 3... Magazine capacity was three lowers. Magazine capacity to 29 or something. So we got 59 rounds in here. This, like I said, this is just the uh, the backup, just in case there's something that's gonna, like the demo is gonna explode and we need a weapon real fast. Like if this thing runs out of ammo, we switch down one and we just hose them down with this and hopefully we can kill them. But we got a fair amount of AP ammo. Got a thousand rounds on this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. It should stay off, right? Yeah. Because we got the lights up here that are going to be giving us plenty of light. So, yeah. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and eat up this now. Because we've got a full half an hour of horde. So, let's make sure we take 35 minutes. 15. Oh, I can't go any harder than 15 minutes. <gasps> All right, well, I just have to remember to keep using them if I need them. I got this recog, too. I'm going to use right at the very beginning of the horde, plus 50% range damage. It's only five minutes, so it'll give us ten minutes in total. I got this water bottle here I'm going to drink right away, too. Got this just in case. Wire tool just in case. Electrical parts to fix the uh, electrical fences. I don't know. I don't think I can reach these guys out here to fix them. Only time will tell. I know I won't be able to reach the one over here because I tried to reach it with a wire tool. I couldn't get to it. But I think they're... I think these guys are just too far away for me to reach. So, I don't know. These guys, will, I can reach all of these guys. Now, I'm pretty sure I've checked all these fences since the last time. Oh, this is the guy finally updated. Oh, I didn't check them all. Somehow I didn't fix all the walls either. I thought I had checked all this stuff. Oh, you know what it was? Is I, I had turned the power on a couple times to test it out. I think that was what it was. That guy's repaired. You're good. You're good. All those last little points. What block was it that needed some? There we go. That guy. These ones should all be fine. Right. Yep. And then this side, these guys might need it. Yeah, you do. You do. Ooh, I didn't check them from last time. Okay. Well, good thing I double checked. We don't want them dying early. All right. Well, we got what, a few more minutes left before we go. Let's go ahead and take one more of these. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't know. Right, and we got this one here. Turns the rest of them on. Look at the lighting, it's just perfect. Those big street lights do an awesome job. Like, I threw one in and tested it out. I'm like, yeah, man, that's gonna work great for Horde Night. Look at the lighting. Like, we could even leave our helmet light off if we wanted to, but I'd leave it on because it's just easier to see the guys up close. All right, here they come. Oop, that was a big lag spike. Let's get this on. Those are going to run out, but 
Close that just in case. Come on, guys. Yeah. First victim of the night. If things get real crazy, I'm going to throw in the second, uh... Second line of, uh... Electrical fences. Not a good time to have a cop and have to reload. Alright, well... Let's use the base like I was intended. It's gonna get crazy up in here. They're mostly coming from the side, which is good. That didn't drop. Oh well. Yeah, I may just have to like do pipe bombs all night. Just do like straggler clean up with this. Enjoy the pipe bomb. So far so good. No demos yet. This doesn't feel like 64 zombie. Although, give it time. They're just getting warmed up for the party. Yeah, those dart traps. I should have put pressure plates on them. That's really the best way to run dart traps is the pressure plate. But... I got lazy. Got down to the wire. I didn't quite... I almost didn't put them in. But, you know what, Anthony made the suggestion and I'm like, can't not put the dart traps in. He wants to see the dart traps, we get the dart traps going. But yeah, that, to do them right, you really need to put a pressure plate down. Or, like, a bigger pressure plate. Or several of them. I don't know, that doesn't feel like 64 to me. Ooh, that guy's gonna lose his groin. That cop died. There's one more in here somewhere. I can hear him. I think I got him. I think I got him. Ah, shit. Oop, leg spike. Hold that, buddy. I mean, I guess you could go full. Like, if I brought all my ammo down, I could have gone full M60 tonight and just shredded these guys, but... I don't know. This is a pipe bomb base. It's how it was designed, so that's how I'm using it. I mean, it really isn't designed for this many zombies either, though. It can handle it. If you don't mind your Horde Knight being crazy, it can definitely handle it. At least it seems like it can. Demos are the trick, though. Without testing it against a full amount of demos, there's no way to really know to be sure. Like, like a wave of like 30 demos or something. Did she die? I think she did. Mr. Bike Man. Leg spike. Every time the uh, mass amount of zombies spawn in, we got a leg spike here. Kind of feeling like that biker off, but I shot the guy behind him. Are we into the next wave? I think we might be. I think we're in the next wave now. 
Ooh, juicy. Dart traps are still firing. I don't know how many hits we're getting. Oh, fucking dog. There's the demos. And a cop that's gonna blow up. Well, he went off. Fucking lag. Oh, I'm hearing, you know what we're having a problem with? That. We're back up and running, we are. Okay, that's gonna handle those guys. I need to assess the damage shortly here. I don't think he didn't break the or blow up the walls here. We got that guy. I'm trying to get him in the head. Certainly is a bit laggy. Those are landing inside, but they'll still do damage. Ooh, a lot of demos now. I should have checked my game stage before I started. I think I was just too panicked. Okay, tops are down. Nobody on that side. Yeah, really laggy. Doesn't look like they've broken through the first layer of steel yet, though. Alright, we'll take that. We'll hold that. We'll hold that. I think I made lots of pipe bombs. Ooh, Kenny got blown in here with no arms. You guys hold that. Nobody over there. Okay, good. That just bounced over. Nice. That just bounced over. Ah, you didn't, but that's fine. Yeah, that was a uh, half the amount of demos. We got, I think we kind of got lucky with them. Off my walls. Let me make sure those cops go away. All right, let's get a double explosion going here. Get rid of these whites. Whites can do a fair amount of damage to the building, I think. Not as much as, say, like, a cop exploding wood, but they can do, like, a lot of melee damage, so... That cop died already. Oops. Where did you come from? I haven't been hurt hearing the turrets go off. I don't know if this is the start of wave three. It looks like it is because we got uh Let's clear this side up. Yeah, there's too many guys over here now. We hold that. We hold that. We're right on the wall now. That side's still pretty much intact over there though. That side's clear now. That was a that was a radiated cop. We got radiated whites now. Ah shit. 
little bit of charge up on that one. Hold that. There you go. Here you go, Mo. He ain't dead. Wow, listen to those blade traps going off, man. They're doing some work tonight. Our traps are still going. I don't know if we're getting any hits on these guys, but... At least, uh, you know, I'm just thinking, too, that maybe it was a good idea that we... Um, didn't put the upper level ones on because they could have gone off at the um, they could have gone off like they could have set off a demolisher's button by accident I think they fixed the blade traps the blade traps don't do that but I still think dart traps can do it alright yeah I'm really happy with this face like really really happy with the way this base turned out. So this is day 77. I mean our game stage is over 150. Okay, repair time. Probably here that needs repairing. Yeah, a little bit there. We'll go over here. Oh, we're good there. Those guys, that guy, that guy. We got a guy, we got a, uh, okay, there's one. I think we're okay. That's working now. Look at these guys all trying to come to get to me. Oh, hang on, I got some stuff for you guys. Just hang on. We got some treats for everybody. I went to the store and bought lots of treats, so just hang on. Here, hold that. Let's get the uh, SMG doing some work. Feels like radiated cop. Okay, we got another thing going off here somewhere. Where is it? The cop going off. One of these is busted. Not you. There you are. Hey, stop! I'm fixing stuff. Just getting real. There you go. Hold that. Right in your fucking groin. Whoops. Oh, the double explode. Come on, use. The lag is killing me here. Yeah, thank goodness for the atom junkies. We're gonna just go ahead and uh restock here a little bit on them. I never did use the um Never did use the uh, recog, but I don't think we need it. I think the board's actually just coming to an end here. I could be wrong, but... Sounds like we got some guys trapped out back, but I think that's it. 304. You never know. Let's just see what happens. Make sure everything's reloaded. Went through, st so far, three stacks of pipe bombs. Now, can we reach those? No, they're like, oh, wait. Oh, that's the wall. Yeah, I can't get those. It's unfortunate, but whatever. Yeah, so we got guys trapped, it sounds like, in the building behind us. I don't know how many birds we got last night. <gasps> Somebody broke, got in.
We'll find out in a second where you, how you got in. So we lost one of the blade traps there. That was from the demo, I think. But he didn't break any blocks out here. Like nothing is reduced to concrete out there. Alright, let's make sure we're loaded up. And we're gonna go get all these loot bags. Alright, well we got this block broken, but that's not by a demo. Alright, turn this off. So we only used 50 fuel on that one. And 70 on that one, so that's not that bad. I hope they didn't break through my wall here. I'm interested to know where how he got in. He somehow must have got in up above. Oh, yeah, we want to turn the dart traps off down here. So we burned through all the dart trap ammo. And then we want to go ahead and turn this off. So, almost a full battery. So moving forward, this base, we would be fine with gas. We would be fine with... Yeah, fine with gas. Fine with battery power, because we can wrench batteries and we can run... You know, we can run the, the uh, generators to recharge some of these for a bit because we're barely using any gas. Now, I used about almost a stack of 7.62. Uh, little over half and a bit a stack of 9 mil AP. We used a stack and a bit of shotgun ammo. One, two, three, three and a half stacks of pipe bombs. So that's like 72 we used. No, yeah, 60, 72 pipe bombs we used. So, yeah, I'm like, like totally over the moon happy with how well this base turned out. Actually, let's keep a stack of this on us. Um, and then I'm just going to throw the rest of the stuff in here. It doesn't matter. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, actually, we want to see what kind of damage our base took, so we'll take that out. You can go in there. Keep the shotgun as a backup. Actually, you know what? Forget it. I'll leave it there. SMG will run from the enemy if we have to. So, not even the full night. If it was a regular horde night. It didn't even last the whole night. So, I don't know how that guy got up here. The only thing I can think of is maybe one of the pipe bombs went up and he got put up onto here or something. Oh, you know what? I think that's exactly what happened. Or he stacked up. Because look at... Go back around here. My door is gone. So he broke through this door to get in, which means he somehow got up on the roof here. So he may have been blown up onto the roof, which wouldn't be surprising to me. So lights didn't take any damage. The upper here took like one point of damage. Like he may have been stacked on somebody's head too. Yeah, these took a lot more because the demo went off on this side. So which one took the most damage? This one, 1800. Yeah. All right, let's just check out what our loot is here. Level six steel club. Let's go ahead and use this guy, get it out of there. Any ammo we get is a bonus, you know? Go ahead and get rid of that. Yeah, we already knew everything in that book, so no big deal. So we lost two blade traps. I'm interested, I'm really interested to see how... Like, he didn't do all that much damage out here. Because the last time we had a couple of these steel blocks that were missing. So that's like a couple thousand. Yeah, like really only a couple thousand damage. 2,500 there. So... And, oh, yeah, almost 3,000 there. So they, they almost broke through here by beating, but I think that's because I wasn't paying attention and the electrical fences had gone down. And that's when I noticed them kind of like, every, like they're all over the wall. I'm like, what the hell? So they almost broke this one. And I think that's all from beating. Yeah, like a lot of damage here. 
I think a cop, I think one or two cops blew up out here too, so we lost the spike traps on this side, or the uh, blade traps, all three of them went. I think it was partially due to demo explosion, but also partially due to them beating on them. Yeah, we're really getting garbage. Treasure map. Uh, yeah. Sure. So, yeah, 3,000. Or, sorry, 4,000, 4,000. A little bit damage there. I'm glad I made these plates back here steel, but they didn't need to be. Like, there's no damage back here. It's all in the ramps. Ramps in the walls. Ah, oh, man, I'm so happy with how this turned out. This was uh, this was broken just by damage. This was not broken. Not broken. So these two didn't do... Those three didn't do very much work. More beers, some shorts that we don't need. Candy cane that we don't need. Alright, let's drop you. I can't sell that, so we'll drop it. Uh, like it doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter at this point. So yeah, overall, you know, it turned out quite well. Um, I'm kind of shocked. Well, I'm not really shocked. I guess because I prepared so well for it. Like, I was really prepared for this one. Alright, let's just go throw some stuff upstairs and I'll come back and grab the rest of this. Yeah, I was prepared for this horde, so... I don't know, would it have been different if I had not, um... Spent those extra days... You know, getting the, Well, no, it wouldn't have been that different because I really didn't do that much to the base uh, on those times, like, those days that I, I spent off camera. I was really just, like, painting and stuff. Like, I didn't upgrade any of this. Like, I upgraded this line here and this line here with some steel, and these, like, corners they upgraded with steel, but that was it. So they did less damage on this side than they did on the other side. We only had one guy go off. The rest we were able to handle with pipe bombs. So, you know, and if you wanted to expand this base, it would be easy. Just extend this out one more block. Then you can put in another set of wire fences that would go around. So moving forward, you'd have like two, four, six sets of wires all the way around. You could do the same thing here. Bring it out one block, right? Easy enough where you could start it off that way, you know. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so seven steel for that. So, like, I mean, for the cost of some steel for repairs, this base is, like, really good. That was the steel I'd found, too. So, there you go. I mean, we broke some of these wood blocks, but they're just wood, so just replacing them takes neck nothing, right? That was from the demo, too, I think. But, yeah, the walls didn't take any damage. And that guy that got up, like, they didn't do any damage to any of this, which means they don't care about the building here. Right? They don't really care about this building. They care about coming through here somehow. And I guess they see this as kind of an open gap to get to you. So that's why they try to get up here. And it, and then they get stuck. They can't, they, you know what I mean? Then you're, you're groin shotting them, and all they're doing is hitting this and stuff. But yeah, so that's going to be the end end of this series, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun making it, I gotta say. I survived, I mean, other than that one death that we had way back in that one building, um, I survived relatively well in this, and at a certain point when you, when you, you know, get a certain amount of weapons, you know, this thing used six rounds. You get a certain amount of weapon. This one used four rounds, so we didn't really have any birds at all. When you get a certain level of weapon, it really is, you know, even at insane difficulties with, with, with sprinting zombies, and I'm sure I could have... Oh, he broke through this door too, the bastard. Kind of cost me a brass doorknob. Fuck. Um, you know, even with sprinting zombies or nightmare running zombies, 
once you get a certain amount of weapons and you're used to the speed of the zombies, it really isn't that difficult. Um, as long as you keep a level head, if you panic and freak out, then you're in trouble. But, you know, it is a video game, so just sit back and enjoy it and go for the ride. That's why I want to try something that's going to be a little more challenging. Um, so it's either going to be Darkness Falls, like I said, or it's going to be um, a heavily modded version of this game. Using the, mo the current mods that I have installed now, uh, either going to be no trader or only one trader on the map. And then I got to try and find a mod that makes the trader um, traders uh, building not immune to damage so the zombies can rip through it much like in Darkness Falls. So, you know, we could we could set up a base inside the traders. If I do Darkness Falls, that's probably what I'm going to do anyway. I'm going to uh, start off with like the laborer class or whatever and just build up a massive fort, the trader fort. Um, or we could, like I said, we could we could run the game with no traders at all and uh, just live about our wits and we just have to rely on everything that we can find and make on our own without having to buy anything from the trader because honestly you know you look at the level of coin I got like what 81,000 now that's not a lot I've seen plenty of playthroughs like like Jewoodle's playthroughs where he's got so much more than that and I could have I could have gone and just like repaired everything and sold everything made sure everything had mods in it when it was when it got sold and maxed out my coin but at a certain point it's like wh why you know what I mean like you've got so much money you're never going to spend it all unless you're trying to buy a gyrocopter like there's no point in like maximizing your coin because you're never going to spend it all and then I just spent all my coin on ammo you know and then the few things I needed like crucibles and stuff so yeah, like at a certain point, it's easy. So if you don't have a trader to rely on, right, a lot of the stuff that we were buying off the trader, just you, we have to find it somehow or make it, right? So you really have to rely on that, you know. But yeah, so this series is over. I hope you enjoyed it uh, as much as I enjoyed making it. I'm just going to go up here and take a nap. Um, <laughs> a well-deserved nap. Hopefully they don't bother me up here. And uh, yeah, yeah. So if you like the episode, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down down below. Let me know what you want to what you want me to do next, and uh, I'll take it into consideration. All right, until next time, we'll see you all later.